Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting trick where you can set the width of your columns of a matrix visual automatically. Let's start. All right, I'm in Power BI, and this is where I've created a very simple matrix visual. And up until now, the way that I used to make sure that the column width for all the columns that I have here in the matrix is the same by literally dragging and stretching or contracting every single column. So let's just say that if I want to make sure that the column width is the same, so I will literally stretch the column or contract the column to be able to make sure that the column width is the same. Now, once I have defined the column width, I would then select the pivot table. I would then go over to the formatting panel right here and then search for the word auto. And then I would turn off this feature called auto size column width. What this feature actually does is if you bring in a measure that has a large value, the column width will try to adjust itself to fit that large value inside of that cell. Now, once I have defined the width manually and I do not really want to change that, I would particularly turn this feature off. Now, obviously changing the column width manually is uh, quite a hassle. And the second problem is that you always get an approximate column width and you try to match every single column that this column is exactly equal to the all the other columns. What you can actually do is you can actually create a very simple measure called column width and you can name it anything. I've just called it column width and I've just wrote a bunch of zeros in there. I'm going to drag this column width to my pivot table and because the auto size is currently turned on, the pivot table would expand automatically and ensure all the columns are wide enough to incorporate the width of this particular column. Now, once you have dragged this particular zeros thing in your pivot table, you can actually go to the formatting panel. Just again, go search for the auto thing and actually turn it off. And once you turn it off, the column width is going to stay what you defined it. And actually you can just get that measure off your pivot table. So I can just delete that column width measure and the width is the same that I that I had declared. Now writing a bunch of zeros could be a little painful. I mean, if you consider that, you can also, you know, use the repeat function. So it says repeat what I'd like to repeat a zero or any alphabet and the number of times I'd like to repeat it 10 times or maybe let's just say eight times or nine times or 11 times. Close that bracket, press enter and drag that visual to your pivot table and the pivot table will expand once again. Uh, it currently did not expand because the auto size feature is turned off. If you turn that on again, it will expand. So I'll just turn it on again. So auto and I'll turn it on again. And you can see that it expands. And now, uh, big, now every single column has expanded. You can turn off that feature and you're gonna get that standard width of the column uh, in the pivot table. And then you can actually remove this particular measure off your pivot table. All right, that was a quick trick of how do you set the column widths automatically. I hope you found this trick incredibly helpful. I learned this trick from Ben uh, at Power BI Guy. I'm just gonna leave a link to the original YouTube video that he did. And you should also check that video out. Thanks so much for watching this. If you have any questions around this please feel free to leave a comment and i'll be glad to reply in the end a quick shout out about my dax and my power query courses if you're starting out and you need help with dax or power query learn the fundamentals first and then move on to solving more challenging more sophisticated problems of your own data i will highly recommend that you take a look at my courses it's going to be highly beneficial thanks so much for watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers bye